Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jeffrey Winsen Reed and this is Trail Time Confessions. And this series is Life on the Trail. And today I'm gonna be answering a question from Jules. And her question is, being that I am so connected to the natural rhythms of nature, being out here, what has impacted me the most? And first off, I'd like to thank you, Jules, for thinking about that question and, and uh, sending it my way. I appreciate that. Um, you know, as far as what has impacted me the most for being in nature and being a part of these natural rhythms, I'd say, you know, and I've talked about this quite a bit, uh, being out here, you know, I, I, I think, you know, as far as a through hike is concerned, you want to think about it as like calibrating your moral compass. And the way to do that is through perseverance and a little solitude. Um, hard work, a challenge, adventure, um, accomplishment, and connection. Connection back to the source. And it's why I wear my necklace. And if you can see the sign on there, the symbol, it is a spiral. And that spiral represents Mother Earth. Pachimama is what the Incas called it. And that spiral is found everywhere in nature. Um, it's all the way from our galaxy to our solar system to, you know, even the DNA, you know, is a spiral, a spiral staircase. So nature is in itself you know a representation of of life and you know walking this trail um, getting dirt on my feet and on my body um, it creates a conduit of energy back to the source and i know that might be kind of hard for some of you guys to to comprehend but being out here um, and I've said this before it instantly fulfills your needs and those six basic human needs that we all share and I think the strongest one that I feel out here is connection and love and the connection is pure it's um, innocent it's it just feels good. And like I said, um, you know, as far as what's impacted me the most is that feeling alone. And that feeling is something that I always want to be able to come back to um, no matter where I am in life, no matter what challenges uh, I face or how hard of a day I'm having. I want to be able to come back to that feeling and just know that everything is going to be okay. And, you know, just thinking about that, my time is fairly limited out here now. Um, I just set my end date for, or I should say end week, for the end of October. And so I have to start planning my exit, my exit strategy out of the wilderness and coming back into society and back into the real world, um, the ordinary world. <laughs> so, you know, thinking about that has really caused a lot of, um, you know, different feelings to pop up and you know, I'm not gonna lie, it is difficult out here. 
and it is a challenge every day. I mean, now the weather is getting freaking cold as hell. Last night it was in the low 20s. Um, I was pretty cold last night. And that is a big challenge for me because, you know, I roll around with not very much body fat. So, um, so the cold is, is somewhat of a challenge for me. But I'm up for it and I'm definitely going to continue on, you know, until I finish, finish the trek. So, and to get back to your question, Jules, you know, as far as the impact about being, being out here and being a part of the natural rhythm, you know, I definitely have a deeper, more rich understanding and appreciation for, for nature and um, the animals, the plants, the smells. Uh, it's pretty amazing walking through parts of the forest and smelling, or even on the mountains and smelling that the mountain sage and, and the evergreen. And it's just, it smells so good. Um, and I know that those smells are always gonna be able to bring me back to that moment and my time here out on the PCT. So, um, you know, as far as other impactful, uh, you know, things that have happened to me out here is, you know, going back to that, that strong connection to nature and to Mother Earth is really just feeling that energy. And I'd say another big impact for me was being able to uh, recycle uh, that energy back into the source and really rid myself of any previous resentment and, and uh, blockages that I had. Um, personal limitations, you know, just really being able to put that back into the dirt and keep walking, you know, open up my luggage, my baggage, let it spill out and recycle back into, into earth. So that has been very impactful for me. And the energy that I've received back uh, just by walking on the trail. Um, it is, again, it's pure, pure love. And I know 100% certainty that I am a different person because of it and a better person for answering my call to adventure, being a part of nature, and challenging myself, pushing my limits, and overcoming those obstacles. So, I hope that answers your question. I wanted to um, have a couple um, shorter videos um, since, you know, my Road to Uncovery video, <laughs> it was an hour, and I know that can be a lot to, uh, a lot to handle or even to be able to take the time to watch that so um, so I'm gonna chunk out some videos for you guys and some shorter videos for you guys to watch and keep you guys updated on my life on the trail I do have quite a few questions uh, from you guys that I'd still still plan on answering and um, that's what I'm gonna do with these shorter videos so um, so I'm gonna end this one Hope you guys have a great day, and I'm going to keep on trucking my way to Campo. Take care.